setting up interfaces. In this video, we will show the setting up of a new smooth wall, including setting up an external interface to the internet. Here, we will give an example of configuring the smooth wall with a laptop plugged into port 1. The smooth wall has a default IP address out of the box of 192.168.110.1. The first step is to set up the laptop with an address on the same range to talk to it, and then begin to set the smooth wall up. By default, the smooth wall doesn't come with DHCP turned on, so you need to give it a manual static address to be able to talk to it. In this example, we will give the network card an IP address of 192.168.110.2 in Windows Networking. To access the SmoothWall, open a browser, connect to HTTPS, SmoothWall's IP address, and port 441. You will get a warning if SmoothWall's administrative interface uses its own self-signed certificate, so the web browser won't know to trust it by default. It will present a warning saying there is a problem with the certificate. It is safe to accept the warning and the page will load. You may choose to tell your browser to trust the certificate to avoid future warnings. The connection is still encrypted, so it is secure. Log in with your username and password. The default is SmoothWall. If you have installed the software on your own hardware, you will be prompted to change this during initial setup. Enter your serial number, as well as your own details and click Save, then Confirm. At this stage, there is no internet connection set up, and so the smooth wall will initially fail to register and give a warning message. Choose your local time zone from the drop down and save. You can now see the main dashboard of the user interface. There are some core services running by default. As there is no internet connection, the system can't receive updates at this point. The first thing to do is to set up interfaces. Navigate to Network, Configuration, Interfaces. Here you can see a list of the interfaces available on your smooth wall. By default, you will be using port 1 with the default IP address. The rest are set to basic interface with no IP address as they aren't configured at the moment. The first task is to connect the smooth wall to the internet so that you can complete registration and download any updates. We will set up port 4 to be the DHCP Ethernet connection. Click Edit. You can change the name of the port. It may be helpful to leave the port number in the name and add the detail of the port's use. There are several options for types of mode of interface. Basic interface would typically be internal as it allows you to configure an IP address, but does not apply NAT or run any other services you would for an external interface. External is typically for external interfaces, as it will apply NAT to it. Bond is used to join more than one interface together to combine for bandwidth or resilience purposes. Bridging is used when you are using a Layer 2 Ethernet bridge. It makes a port a member of a bridge interface, so it won't have an IP address itself. There would be another interface with the IP virtual interface. Heartbeat is a specific hardware to failover setups where you have a dedicated connection between the Heartbeat master and failover units. The configuration options will depend on the mode selected. In this case, we are setting up an internet facing connection, so we will set this to external. We have the option to spoof our MAC address. This allows you to enter the address of your own hardware so it appears on the internet. You are also able to set a custom MTU and enter a comment if necessary. No changes are needed in this instance, so click Save. You can now see that Interface 4 has been set up as external. The next step is to configure the port with an IP address. Click the IP address drop-down and click Add New IP Address. The Add IP Address pop-up will appear. If you choose Static IP in the type, you can enter the IP address gateway and comment. We will use DHCP provided by the internet provider. The bandwidth option will appear. The main use is for multiple gateways used in conjunction with link load balancing to allow it to balance the traffic across the multiple gateways and interfaces. 
If you only have one, it is a good idea to set this value that reflects what your traffic is likely to be. The SmoothWall has a built-in mechanism to monitor if the gateway is connected. If you have multiple gateways, the SmoothWall will use the connection monitoring to automatically shut the interface if it appears to be down. It is advisable to leave this ticked. If your internet service provider requires a DHCP hostname, this can be entered here. There's also an option to add a comment. Click Add and the IP address will be added to the interface. Refreshing shows the ISP has now given the interface an internet-facing IP address. The smooth wall is now connected to the internet. Returning to the dashboard, we can see the external connection setting, as well as the result of the gateway connectivity check. Clicking on the port, you can see the IP, gateway, and traffic. The warning has disappeared as the smooth wall is now registered. Navigate to System, Maintenance, Updates and Releases. Here you can see any updates available for your current release, as well as any new releases. Expand the Releases section to show any available releases for your smooth wall. Clicking on Details shows the contents of a release. It is advisable in your new installation to update to the latest release. Click Install, and the release notes giving details of the release contents will appear. Click Install and Reboot to install the release. Follow the instructions specific to this release. When the installation is complete, you will need to log back into the smooth wall. Click Check for Updates again and install any further updates available. You can see no more releases or updates are available. The smooth wall is now set up with an external interface set up to the internet.